What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. I think we're in for a little bit of a bumpy road moving into 2025. It's already November, middle of November. Surging Sparks is newly released and going crazy. We're going to talk about it. And there's no more English sets of Pokemon coming out until 2025. So this is it. Surging Sparks is it uh, for the remainder of the year. There might be the Black Friday deals, which... They seemed okay from what I've seen so far, and there might be the Christmas deals, but there's no new, new stuff coming in the Pokemon space. And so moving into 2025, we have the current like next best, best thing, which is Surging Sparks. Then we have Prismatic Evolution, which already has a huge amount of hype coming, and pre-orders are sold out and all sorts of different stuff pokemon center sold out of the pc exclusive elite trainer boxes within hours and then there's still the glory of team rocket and battle partners and all that stuff coming so we don't know too much information about it but it's an exciting time to be in the pokemon space but i think it's a bumpy time for consumers for collectors probably for investors as well right now surging sparks is 196 on TCG player, $196 a week and a half after the set released. So it's already 35 ish dollars over MSRP on TCG player. How does that make any sense? It's crazy. And some of you are saying that it's manipulation. Some of you are saying it's YouTubers um, blowing it up with all the hype and FOMO. There has to be some sort of level of demand in order for these boxes to sell out. Lots of store owners I've talked to in Canada. First of all, they didn't get enough booster boxes to begin with. Second, uh, they sold out immediately. Third, some, and I've seen comments in YouTube and on Facebook and on Discord, some stores did the scummy move of selling pre-orders, taking your money early, and then they were like, no, we didn't get enough product. We got to cancel your pre-order. I really, really hate that, but that's what stores are doing. Here's the important piece of information that I think we can really take away from this. And Pokey Any Brian has said this before. Store owners are taking advantage now of all the sweat equity that they've put into their business over the last two and a half years. Lots of stores have just been scraping by. They buy all the product they can and then because they have to stock their shelves. And then they hope that people buy it. They sell it on sale. They don't make very much money. They are just holding on, keeping the doors open, keeping the lights on in order to buy the new set. And now finally, with a set like Surging Sparks, they are able to actually still buy at that wholesale price. But instead of marking it up 10% or 15 or 5 whatever it was or is, they are able to mark it up 30 and 35 and 40%. Well, now it's time to churn and burn, baby, because that's when the stores are going to make some good profit. They've been sweat equity in it up for the last two, two and a half, three years even. And now is the time. They're not going to go back. They don't want to go back to selling booster boxes right out of the gate at 100 USD. They want to continue selling it at $130 USD, $150 USD. Remember, MSRP manufacturer's suggested retail price for Pokemon booster boxes in Scarlet and Violet era is above $160 US. It's not $100. That's not MSRP. That's just stores needed to move their product so that they could pay their credit card bills. And I think stores are never wanting to go back to that again. At some point in the future, they might. But I think we're going to see moving forward into 2025 as consumers, we're going to see booster boxes pre-sell at 120 125 130 if they don't get enough maybe the pre-sales even go 140 surging sparks like if you were able to buy your pre-sell or pre-sale boxes at 100 105 110 usd well, you are loving life you're loving life i was able to get a few and luckily my guy well Let's be honest, I ordered five booster box cases, and he only sent me four. So, there is a level of Pokemon either didn't print enough, or they can't print enough, or it's short printed, I don't know. That's up for speculation. But there's a change in the Pokemon space in terms of pricing moving forward into 2025. 
Here's the other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video today is that Surging Sparks is currently this next best thing. It is the newest set and the last set of 2024. What happens to Surging Sparks once Prismatic Evolution comes out? There's already huge hype for Prismatic Evolution. You got the Eevee, you got the Eevee Lucians, you got the Special Illustration Rares. It's a huge specialty set, 32 Special Illustration Rares, which is, I think, unheard of. I, I guess you could compare it to Crown Zenith, where there was like 70 Galarian Gallery cards, but it seems very different, Galarian Gallery compared to Special Illustration Rares. And you have the Umbreon EX. Like, ultimately, that card is going to drive up the price, I think. It looks good enough, and it's an Umbreon. Like, it has to, right? What I'm trying to say is that if people care about Surging Sparks right now, will they care about Surging Sparks in January? That's what I think is an important question to ask as Maybe you're looking to buy a Surging Sparks booster box. Maybe you're looking to add more sealed Pokemon product. What's happening right now with Surging Sparks? Is it because it's manipulated? Is it because it's YouTubers spouting off? Is it because there's actually that much demand for it? Is it because it's short printed? What are people going to care about moving into 2025? I think there's a good expectation that Prismatic Evolution comes out, and lots of people start to forget about Surging Sparks. That's my personal opinion. I could be way off, but I think there's going to be a huge demand for the Evolutions, the kind of the first Evolutions we've seen in Scarlet and Violet era so far. So I think that is going to change things a lot. Hey, before we carry on, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'm happy to announce that I just uploaded my first sealed Pokemon products onto my website, thepokeoffice.com. I'm going to be uploading more uh, all week and into the future. Got some distributor access now, so it's really, really exciting. Uh, going to try to keep growing thepokeoffice.com. It has singles, it has sealed product now, and my live stream offering. So go check it out. And if you are a YouTube member of my channel, then you get 5% off everything in the store. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, so go check it out now. I'd appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the topic at hand, which is number three on my list of things to talk about today. The price of Surging Sparks and the total demand that Pokemon has right now uh, is actually driving up the price of some other booster boxes in Scarlet and Violet era as well. We're seeing, I have the numbers in front of me here. Scarlet and Violet base set was for a very long time under $100. Now it's at $104.59. Paldi Evolved, I mean, not that long ago, it was pre summer 2024, you could get a Paldi Evolved booster box for like, I don't know, $120. And when it first came out, it was sub $100 as well. Same with Obsidian Flames, was a sub $100 booster box. Now, Paldi Evolved, $144.85. Obsidian Flames, $123.14. They're not like climbing at a crazy speed, but slowly, slow burn over time, they're making their rise. Paradox Rift, $107 right now, and that one was also sub-100 for a while. Temporal Forces, I don't know if it ever got to sub-100, but it was always very low 100s. Now it's at 120 And Twilight Masquerade, you haven't been paying attention twilight masquerade also making moves 158 dollars and 75 cents so big moves in some scarlet and violet boxes stellar crown not so much but it's at 108 dollars and 75 cents i don't think that one ever went below 100 dollars. so even that has changed it has changed pokemon space has changed and i think it's going to continue to change like we've already talked about store owners are not going to want to sell their product at only a 5 to 10 to 15% markup moving forward. So what does that mean for buying, investing, collecting in 2024 and 2025 moving forward? I think it just probably means be careful. But if that's the new normal and you want to collect something, paying still below MSRP is not a bad thing. You might not get it for $100 anymore, but still buying it for $120, there's seriously nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you have a little bit more of a long-term um, 
mindset, there's lots of money to be made. I don't need to go over with you. I mean, maybe I do, but I don't think, I think you're smart enough to know that every booster box of Pokemon over time makes it to MSRP and beyond. It does. That's just, it's like a proven thing. Uh, there's only one right now. Battle Styles is not at MSRP yet. Battle Styles is the one from Sword and Shield era. It'll get there because it has some good cards in it. It'll get there. So that's uh, the end of the rant. Uh, what do you do in 2025? I think you just continue. You continue. So that's all I got for you. Let's open up some uh, Surging Sparks because I actually, on my last video, opened up 10 packs of Surging Sparks. And I forgot to hit the record button. So this time, I'm not going to forget to hit the record button. Let's see if we can pull a special illustration rare and get there. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ten more packs. Yeah, legitimately, I was recording. It wasn't that good of a video. I didn't pull much of anything. But still, it's like, ah, oh, come on. I put all that work in and wasted ten packs for not video. Like, it's kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. It happens. It's probably happened like uh, three or four times over the course of my channel where I forget to hit record because occasionally like I don't have my phone camera set up to actually record the, the cards. So that's why I have to change things up a little bit. Flamigo, that's why I have to click record again is what I'm trying to say uh, because I end the recording so there's two pieces of it but and I just forgot to change the the focus of my camera so the video is kind of popping back and forth but it is what it is anyways uh, it is crazy the Pokemon space right now I don't know what you think there's a lot of uh, negativity in the comments these days of market manipulation stop with the BS stop FOMOing stop producing FOMO and I'm seriously not trying to produce FOMO that's not my intent whatsoever it is literally just me giving my honest assessment of the Pokemon hobby and I see crazy things happening in the Pokemon hobby right now so yeah just feels very very different than anything else I've ever experienced in the Pokemon space yeah. uh, what else is different is that I don't want to just keep pulling nothing out of these packs brutal brutal and at the end of the day talk about collecting I talk about investing I spout off nonsense. I let my personality shine through. Clobopus. I have never pulled that one yet. That is actually a uh, pretty cool looking card. I like that. I like it. But what I was going to say is that the, part of the reason I open packs at the end of the videos because I'm just like you. I love opening Pokemon cards. I love talking about Pokemon. It's... Yeah. I don't need to justify it anymore. I'm just I'm a big nerd who likes Pokemon. Hope you appreciate it. Clubopus. Here's the thing. Surging Sparks. The special illustration rares are quite good. Um, I don't think it's even remotely close to the strongest set for, for um, illustration rares. I think there's way better. Melotic. All right, well, three hits, two packs left. It could still be a really good video. It would be an amazing video if somehow, some way, a Pikachu came out of here. And I'm not talking about just a double rare Pikachu. I'm talking about the special illustration rare deliciousness, which is gonna come in this pack. No, it's not. All right, we need some last pack magic. We need it. If you're watching this video on uh, or close to release day, this coming week is my birthday live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. Some giveaways will happen. 
Lots of packs to be opened. A Bruxish. Okay. We will take a second illustration rare. I will take that. We'll take that. Anyways, that's going to do it for me at the Pokey office. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit all the buttons. Hit the like one, uh, especially. Helps my videos get out to more people. Appreciate you very much, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.